Yes, man. That's right. And then, of course, we first alert you to all things weather, but uh, as they did over there, first alert you to 15 minutes. Is that all you got? Yeah. 15 minutes before that 14 for that ticket expires. And now we're going to expire the first alert weather day at 630. Want to get you through the evening commute, but I also want to first alert you to the changes ahead. This is a classic spring pattern. One of the reasons why we first alerted you to a morning commute like today is because how quickly things can change in Michiana as we go into spring, which officially starts tomorrow. Look at this. Today was spent with snow, cold temperatures and really tough driving conditions to start the day. Tomorrow, no first alert weather day uh, is issued for your Tuesday and check out the circle green in the morning. It is going to be cold and then green in the afternoon for the evening hours. Again, we want to first alert you to completely different conditions for our Tuesday compared to today. 51 degrees with partly cloudy skies for that evening commute. Uh, now we're not done with the cold air. Uh, I do want to first alert you to not only a cold stretch coming up Wednesday and Thursday, but also some more snow, more system snow late Thursday into Friday. Again, we'll talk about that first alert weather day potential coming up in just a little bit. I want to show you the latest radar anywhere you see that blue that is going to result in some reduced visibility. Now I'm not talking a December, January, February type lake effect snow where we got travel advisories or issues like that. This is more of uh, take it slow just to be sure. Again, first alert weather day issued for today because of the reduced visibility and some of the slick roadways. Now for that temperature trend again, uh, we're going to see these temperatures come back and forth with a gradual climb back to average late in the forecast period. But first alert you to a 52 degree temperature on Tuesday in the afternoon. We're not going to start at 52 degrees and then cooling back down for high temperatures only around 37 degrees on Wednesday with windy conditions. So I do want to first alert you to now the wind chill hovering in the 20s most of the day on Wednesday. As we go into Thursday and Friday, uh, one of the things that we are watching and something we first alerted you to last week for this week is this right here. Uh, the chance of some showers, maybe some snow mixed in as well for your Friday morning. Again, uh, still ways away. You got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night and into Friday as we continue to fine tune that uh, that forecast. Uh, if anything changes in regards to increasing the snow potential, uh, first alert weather day will be issued for your Friday morning. So make sure you stay tuned and follow us as we forecast uh, the rest of the week. 46 degrees on Saturday. Everything starts to clear out and feels a little bit more like spring coming in this weekend, but we have been spoiled. Now, we first learned to a very warm Warm winter and it was temperatures are coming back down below average, but eventually going to get back to average, which is the mid 40s this time of year. Right, your first alert future track. This is Monday at 11 p.m. You got the upper 20s and the lower 30s. Cloud cover comes back in, but don't forget the sunglasses. There's going to be times where the sun is going to be around for the afternoon as temperatures come back up. Still in the upper 30s. This is Tuesday at 11 a.m. and then start to warm back up to around 50 degrees for that evening commute. So again, I want to first alert you to the three big things. The first one is a much different Tuesday forecast, more windy than snowy. The second thing is your Friday morning. We're kind of eyeing that for a potential first alert weather day. Right now we do want to first alert you to some precipitation coming in late Thursday, early Friday. And then the third thing, your weekend forecast Saturday and Sunday. I want to first alert you to not only some rain chances on Sunday, uh, but a really good chance of getting back to average for this time of year. So if you haven't already, uh, first alert you to making some of those weekend plans for Saturday and Sunday. Now, I can't forget we'll have more on this coming up in sports. Saturday, you got uh, Notre Dame women's basketball. They're going to be opening up the tournament right here in South Bend. And breaking news yes. on that one. If you're talking about the women's basketball team, Coach Neil Ivey is going to be here at the station tomorrow. She's going to talk mm -hmm. to us on the noon show, and she's going to first alert our viewers to some tickets that you should be buying for the first two games that they're going to And hold. by the way, you should act fast because because I checked them out today. Full well, honesty? Yeah. We already got ours. Okay. Of course you do. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Still to come. Hey, press.